What's up, mama? Hey, you believe in God? What's the name of your God? Talk to me for a second. It's all love. How you doing? Good. What's the name of your God? You just believe in him? What you went to church? You said Jesus? So you believe in the God of the Bible? Let me show you something. All right. Lie, pull up on your phone, Jesus. Pull up on your phone, Jesus, real quick. Let me show you something real quick. I just want a little bit of your time. Are you got it? Anybody? Pull up Jesus real quick. All right. So look, this is Jesus, right? Usually when we think it is this man right here, right? Right? This is how they say Jesus look, right? All right, let's see what the Bible say. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Verse 1. The revelation of Yahweh Shai. I mean, the revelation of Jesus Christ. The word reveal means, revelation means to reveal something in hidden. We're going to show you how Christ look, right? Drop down to verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His head and his hairs were white and woolly. You ever seen somebody with like gray hair? You never seen nobody with gray hair? Yeah, gray hair. So they said the heads on his head and his beard was gray. Right? Now they gave us that image. Does that person have gray hair? All right, so strike one. Read. As white as snow, and his eyes were a flame of fire, and his feet like unto fine brass. So what color is brass? Like, not grass, like brass with a B. My bad. Yeah, brass. It's brown, right? Now what? It said, now your feet is the same color as the rest of your body, right? Now it said Jesus' feet was brass. So me and you agree that it's brown, right? Now we're going to see how brown Jesus was. As if they burnt in a furnace. He was so brown, they say he looked like he burned in a furnace. So they gave us this white boy, but it don't line up with the Bible. So who's lying? This image or the Bible? It's a devil. It's not Jesus right here. A devil just mean a lie. They gave us this image, right? And they told us, this is how Jesus looked when the scriptures say otherwise, right? Give me the one, you got another color scripture? Give me any, any one. Give me Job 30 and 30. Give me, I'm showing you how they say one thing, the Bible say another thing. You know what I'm saying? So look, I would say, you know, you know how, I'm sure you were, was raised Catholic. Was you raised Catholic or Christian? Christian, okay. Now, most Christians would believe this is how Jesus looked. I'm sure they probably think that uh, his mother looked the same, right? The Virgin Mary, you heard of that before? So they would say Mary looked the same, right? Uh, what if I could show you Mary looked different? What would you say? Her son is black. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it make sense for her to be black too? Yeah. Absolutely, right? In the Vatican, right? The Pope. He has images of the, the real Jesus and his mother as black. You see what I'm saying? They gave us this false image because Christ let us know in the last days that there was going to be somebody portraying themselves as Christians in Christ, but they're going to be false. This is the antithesis. This is the image of the beast right here. He's a liar. He told all our people that I'm God bound down to me and you can pretty much do whatever you want. Doesn't matter. Do this. The little cross you're good all you got to do is believe in me that's not in the bible right let's get some more concepts right read that job chapter 30 and verse 30 my skin is black upon me my skin is what my skin is black upon me you see that he said my skin there ain't no way around that one right he said my skin is so black 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 it's no way around it. he said my skin is black upon me right is that it on that read and my bones has burnt with heat I'm, 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 I'm black and black burnt black. You know what I'm saying? That's what he said, right? What you got? Give me the one in limitations. Give me limitations. Give me, give me the one in five and ten. That's another one. Give me limitations five and ten. So, so, if you had to pick on like a little chart, they would say you're Mexican. They say you're Mexican, right? Now, we know we can't find Mexican in the Bible, right? All right, so who, I'm going to show you who you are according to scripture. All right, read this. Book of Lamentation, chapter 5 and verse 10. Our skin was black like... Skin is what? Our skin was black like an oven. Our skin is black like an oven. I'm showing you everywhere in the Bible where it's talking about people that in the Bible look like us. Dark skin. You know, because you know when you go to Mexico, you can, you can see a dark skin Mexican that's really, really black, right? They look like us. We're the only people with this type of skin. Everybody else looks... 
pretty much, you know, how they look. But we the ones with darker skin. When I say we, I'm talking about us. Me and your people, all right? Now, nevertheless, I want to show you something, right? God has a chosen people, 12 tribes, all right? He has 12 tribes that he chose. Who are they today? It's us. He said, my people are going to be spoiled, robbed, in prison houses. Give me that one. My people spoiled, spoiled, robbed, in prison houses. I think that's Isaiah 42 and 22. He said, my people are spoiled, robbed, in prison houses, right? Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 15. He said, my people are going to be spoiled, robbed, in prison houses. I'm going to read you some prophecies about the chosen people of God. And then we're going to do a process of elimination. And we're going to see who can be these people today, right? This is a prophecy. This, the reason why this book is so strong is because God spoke it beforehand. And then it happened at a later time. So I'll give an example. Me and you say something right now, and then it happens 200 years later. It couldn't be from man. Like, it has to be from God. Because can't, man can't see that far in the future. You see what I'm saying? So God spoke these prophecies beforehand, and then they happened like 2,000 years later, right? He said this about the children of Israel. All right, so now we're going to see who the children of Israel are, who fits the bill, right? Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee th this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. A curse a good thing? Bad thing, right? The Lord said, if you don't listen to the contract I'm giving you, you're going to be cursed. Now watch this. Let's look at one of the curses. Cursed shall thou be in the city, and cursed shall thou be in the field. Curse you're going to be in the city, curse you're going to be in the field. When you look at the inner city ghettos, who living in the projects? Who on welfare? Who who on WIC? Who game banging? Who down and out? Who's who's at the lowest levels of reading? Black and Hispanics. We the only ones. If you go to any of these projects, Nickerson Gardens right up the street. You can go to the one across there, right, which is Imperial Courts, or you can go to the the ones over there, the Jordan Downs. You are gonna find everybody that look like me and you. That's not a coincidence. That's prophecy. The Lord said you're gonna be cursed in the city, in the fields. Who was in the cotton fields? Us. Who's in the strawberry fields? Yo, people. To the point that Cesar Chavez had to rise up for the people because they was getting oppressed in the fields. Unfair wages. We still getting cursed in the field right now. And if you want to go into the work field right now, right? Who worked the most? Black and Hispanics. To the point where they say Mexicans work really, really hard, right? Y'all get coin, coin for working really hard, right? Because we the only ones that's in the field working, as the scriptures say, right? Read it again. Curse shall thou be in the city and curse in the city. Curse shall thou be in the field. Curse in the field. This is a prophecy that God said was gonna happen to the children of Israel. It fit us white, right? Give me the one with the single parents. 54. Watch this. Watch this. Got the prison houses out? Got the prison houses? Read that. But guys, Isaiah chapter 42 and verse 22. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. The Lord said that black and Hispanics are robbed and spoiled. We got our nationality taken from us. We got our homeland taken from us. We got everything taken from us. Because y'all was here first and now they pushing y'all back and calling y'all wetbacks. When California was Mexico first. They pushed y'all back and said y'all can't come across the border when y'all were here first. Read it again. But this is a people robbed and spoiled. We robbed and spoiled. We don't know our nationality. It was taken from us, right? And they was giving us something else. They told you you were Mexican. They told me I'm African and American, right? Read. They are all of them snared in holes. And they are hid in prison houses. We're black, we black brothers and our Latino brothers. Prison. Go to any prison right now and you're going to find black and Hispanics leading per capita. That's not, that's not a coincidence. That's prophecy. God said these things are going to happen because we didn't keep our end of the bargain, right? Read that. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children. Which he shall what? Which he shall leave. Which he shall what? Which he shall leave. The Lord is describing single parent household. He said the man is going to leave his children and his wife. What people suffer from single parent households? Black and Hispanics. You grew up with your father? How did I know that? I, I already knew you didn't. How many of your friends didn't grow up with their father? Maybe he was there for a couple years and then he went off to jail or you don't see him no more. A lot, huh? 
Read it again. God said this is going to happen to us. This is how I know we the people. Read. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil towards his brother. Ain't banging. And toward the wife of his bosom. Towards his wife. And toward the remnant of his children. Towards his children. Which he shall leave. She going to do what? Which he shall. I'm out of here. Single pair of households. Give me 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. What happened to us in slavery? When the conquistadors and the Spaniards came over here, our children was given to them. This is why you see a lot of our people over there in Spain. You see what I'm saying? Because they was taken from the island over here and moved over there to Spain. Right? Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the days of uh day long and there shall be no might in thy hand can't do nothing about it what's happening over there on the mexican border right now they taking the children right now under they having an underground under railroad little situation where they're selling auctioning off the children you know what i mean because this biblical prophecy is like the lord said right now you got billionaires is going to mexico going to dominican republic going to Puerto Rico to have sex with little baby girls right like the Bible said now let me see if you was listening why God why God allowed this to happen to us remember it's a reason why read 15 again I'm gonna show you why but it shall come to pass if thy will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God you don't listen to observe to do all his commandments commandments you heard of the ten commandments you heard of the ten commandments never heard of them all right read and his statutes which i command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee god said if you don't keep my contract see we got a contract with god there's good parts and bad parts right our forefathers got a contract with god he said if you keep the contract you're gonna rule the earth and you're gonna have dominion and sovereignty over the whole earth if you don't keep it then you're gonna be cursed so look if not listening to God, God is in his condition, how do we get out? Let me ask, let me ask it again. I don't, if not listening to God, God is in his condition when we disenfranchise, we living in the projects, Section 8 housing, single parent households, our husbands is not at home, we got hella kids by different baby daddies. If not listening to God, God is in his condition, how do we get out? What's the opposite of what's the opposite of disobedience? Yeah, absolutely, we gotta start obeying now, right? See, God gave us this word. How many how many people you think is following this in our community? Nobody, right? That's what I'm saying. So look, until we ready to stop being oppressed in America, God said it's a way out. We ain't tried everything. The Brown Berets, we ain't tried it. Black Panthers, Martin Luther King, the Muslims. We ain't tried everything, but we ain't tried this, and I'm not talking about religion. I'm not talking about Christianity. I'm not talking about Catholicism. You don't need a religion when you are the people. I just showed you, we are the people. We don't need a religion. All we gotta do is pick it up and read it. This book is for us, you see what I'm saying? We gotta adopt our book back and start back reading because God said in Revelations 1 and 3, I'm gonna give you a couple more, I'm gonna let you leave. So look, if, if you didn't hear none I said, sis, I want you to know that you are actually a blood descendant of these people. You know how people say I'm a God's people? No, you really are though. You see what I'm saying? You really come from one of the 12 tribes of Israel. So don't let nobody tell you nothing otherwise. You fit the curses. You went, your forefathers went through the same thing as my forefathers. And we can piece up the prophecies and see that we are the children of the book. And the only way out of this condition, we're for housing, WIC programs, uh, our, 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 our father's not growing up with us. We divorce at a massive rate is for us to get back to this book, right? Read that. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 3. Blessed is he that read it. God said what? Blessed is he that read it. Heard that before? God said you bless if you read. We don't read. The, the only thing we might read is an Instagram post or a Facebook. We don't read nothing. You know what I'm saying? We just go off what we hear. We heard Jesus is real. We, we said maybe he's white But if you read in the scriptures It'll show you clearly how he looks You see what I'm saying So we got to get back to reading our book Because this book is for us Look It's only one way out of here Christ 
Give me that one in Isaiah, 52. 52 and 3. Watch this, because, you know, a lot of our people, I'm going to say a lot of the so-called black people, they want uh, reparations. They keep talking about reparations for slavery, right? Let's see what the Bible say. Isaiah chapter 52 and verse 3. For thus saith the Lord, ye have sold yourselves for naught, and ye shall be redeemed without money. Without what? Without money. Without what? Without money. You're only going to be saved by me. That's why it's talked about Jesus is our savior because that's the only person that's gonna save us. We're not finna get no money. They not finna get y'all Mexico back or, or California back. You know what I'm saying? They not gonna give y'all this land back. This is it what it is. So the only people that can save, the only person that can save us out of this is God. You know what I'm saying? But we gotta listen though because God said, look, you listen to me, then I'll do something for you. It's, a, it's, it's an exchange. You have kids? Okay, do you you got nieces and nephews? All right, you gonna just give them anything? I mean, I'm sure you love them, but I mean, if they disobedient, you gonna just give them whatever they want? No, they gotta listen, right? That's how God feel with us, right? Give me that Second Chronicles 17, verse 14. All right. So if you ain't hear nothing I said, sis, what's your name? Hamla. Hamla. Okay, Hamla. If you ain't hear nothing I said, sis, you are the children of the book. All right, and you gotta get back. Don't let nobody call you Mexican. Mexico is only 300 years old. And you know we weren't calling ourselves Mexicans before that because we was Aztecas, right? We was Aztecas, Mexicas, Incas, right? And even before that, you go back and you and you do some of the uh, the studies over there in Mexico, you'll see it goes back to ancient Hebrew, Paleo Hebrew. You'll show it'll show you that we are the people. This your bus? Okay. All right. Have a good one, sis. All right. Have a good one. Read that. Yeah, twenty. Is he a homeborn slave? The Lord said, damn, is, is Israel a servant? Are we made to be slaves? Because ever since we've been born, at least in our lifetime, it's been nothing but slavery. Slavery, slavery, right? To the point where Jeremiah is like, damn, are we born to be slaves? Read that again. Is Israel a servant? Is he a homeborn slave? Asking a real sincere question like, damn, are we meant to be slaves? How we God chosen people when we always at the bottom, right? Because y'all ain't sticking to the script of God Until y'all come back to the script of God We're going to stay in these damn projects We're going to stay with these dirty roads And these dirty streets We're going to stay with these smokers and crackheads Walking up and down our streets We're going to stay with these gang violence Up and down our streets Because y'all are comfortable And made a covenant with death You got that up? Read that Guys there chapter 28 and verse 18 And your covenant with death Shall, shall be disannulled and your agreement with hell shall not stand. Absolutely. We have made a covenant with death. We love oppression. How do you like being oppressed? Make that make sense to me. I like working my nine to five. I like getting my overtime. I like having to work six, seven, eight, eight days a week. We know it ain't even eight days in a week. Nevertheless, I'm putting the extras on it. I like working sun up to sundown. Who does that? When do we ever get a rest? We don't. But our people are comfortable with it, man. We have made a covenant with death. This is why we got to come out of this madness, man. Breathe life in these people, man. It's a lot of dry bones out here, but we're going to do it through the spirit, man. Give me Ezekiel 37. Got to bring life out here, man. Our people are so... They numb to it, huh? They don't even they don't even think they oppress. They think this is how I'm supposed to be living. My grandma lived like this. My great grandma lived like bro, this is not life. This ain't living. This is not living, man. Read that. On the top. Book of Ezekiel chapter 37 and verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord. And set me down in the midst of the valley, which is full of bones. In the valley of dry bones right now, man. All I see is walking dead. Literally. Brother shrunk out his damn mind, man. He looked like a young boy, too, man. Probably ain't even that old. Probably in his early 30s. Shrunk out, man. Unfortunately. Right? Because this is what this community loves. Y'all made a covenant with death. Read. And caused me to pass by them round about. And behold. There were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And they what? Can these bones live? Can these bones live? That's what we asking. Are y'all ready to wake up out of sleep? 
y'all spiritually walking dead, man. What, 2020, right? Fake woke. I see a lot of fake 2021. A lot of fake woke. All praises, mama. All praises of the most high. All praises. Oh, that's a brother. All praises of the most high. Damn, you know, I had the dress threw me up, man. My bad. <laughs> it's all good, though. He said he be tapping in, though. You know, he had the face mask on, right? Come on, huh? We got the most high as our protector and our healer, man. Read. Um, it's like it. And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. And again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord, black and brown people. Hear the voice of the Lord. The voice of the Lord is his holy prophets, man. We're coming out here speaking, thus said the Lord, trying to breathe life back into y'all people, man. Because all I see is death. All right, when I look in here, this is death. You can't live long living like this. You can't live happy living like this. This is not sustainable. Read. Verse 5. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. Behold, I will... Verse 5. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. The Lord said, I'm going to cause breath, the spirit, you got your pocket for Hold your finger on that. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 26. The Lord said, I'm going to cause breath with your spirit to live in y'all. The spirit, give me John 6 and 63. He almost 80. You seen that? That was crazy. What are we doing out here? Read. Book of Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 and verse 26. For she is the brightness of the everlasting light and the unspotted mirror of the power of God and the image of his goodness. And What's that, 25? Yeah, 24. Verse 25. For she is the breath of the power of God. She is the what? The breath of the power of God. Spirit, the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. What's up, family? What's up, family? It's all good. We all here for y'all. All right, we sound aggressive because we speak like men. But nevertheless, it's all love. We come out here in peace. Right? We come out here for our people, but it's in peace. Right? Read. For she is the breath of the power of God. And a pure influence flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Absolutely, man. The spirit. Something you can't see, but you can definitely feel it. Like this wind, right? We feel this wind, but you can't see it. It's a spirit out here, man. It's a spirit of death out here, man. We're trying to get rid of that wicked spirit and bring life to the people, man. How do we do that? We got to prophesy to the wind, man. It's all right. We go back to that's that's it on that. We go back to Ezekiel, prophesy to the wind, and hopefully, man, somebody can repent. The sister was listening, man. I hope she get the YouTube somewhere, man. The seed is planted, though. Read Ezekiel chapter thirty-seven and verse six. And I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin. Absolutely, and that's what the Lord is doing right now, man. Through the Spirit, man, He's reshaping us, man, reforming.